This simple video keyboard editing hack has changed how I edit videos forever. It has made me a faster editor, more comfortable while editing, and makes editing feel less like work and more like a video game. You know what doesn't feel like a fun game? Sponsors. And that's why I don't have any for this video. But what I do have is lots of love for those of you who have been supporting the channel by purchasing my video guides and LUTs. Check the link in the description to learn more and thank you guys so much for the support. Editing videos takes a lot of time, but if you edit like a gamer, you can speed things up a ton. And this tip comes from the gaming world, specifically first person shooter games. If you play those type of games, you're very used to the gamer stance or the WASD keys or W-A-S-D. These four keys are used to walk forward, back and strafe left and right. All other game controls are based around these four keys and are set up so that the player can easily reach each key without leaving those critical WASD keys. One day while editing, it just dawned on me, why am I not editing like I play games? Editing software is not designed to keep your hands in the same space. And while editing veterans would take pride in using only the keyboard, the mouse is a really powerful tool, especially in NLEs like Final Cut Pro. But I often find myself leaving the mouse to hit a key so I set out to reprogram my keyboard so that my right hand would never have to leave the mouse and my left hand could always remain in a comfortable gaming stance around the W A S and D keys to do this I started writing down all of the key commands that I would use while editing the easiest way to do this is just to start editing grab a pen and start writing down every command or key that you're using when editing next I started to think about how I could lay out these commands on the key Keyboard. First, I left several basic commands that were already in a good place. In Final Cut, that would be keys like V, B, A, and S because I can easily access them while keeping my hand in that gamer stance. Next, I used the Shift button to add a whole second layer of commands, and this is where things started to really click. First, I set the W, A, S, and D to control all playhead movement when Shift was pressed. With Shift held down, A and D replace the arrow keys for moving one frame to the left or right, W and S or up and down, would jump 10 frames up or down. Shift Q and Shift E set in and out points. Shift R deletes. Shift C and Shift V already perform a trim to and trim from, which is perfect. At this point, I was able to take my right hand and leave the mouse, continue to rough at it with my left hand while doing things like sip some coffee, which was fantastic. Once I was happy with all the controls that I could access with my left hand, I turned my attention to the mouse. I love how how the mouse can be used in Final Cut, but figured I could take things even further. I personally use a Logitech G502, which is a legendary gaming mouse with a ton of buttons and the coolest scroll wheel that can be declicked for infinite scrolling. It also works with Logitech's incredible gaming software, which is loaded with great tools like programming macros to buttons, adjusting DPI settings, and even creating custom profiles or groups of settings that you can switch between. I won't go into the details of my mouse settings, but you can really go nuts here and even create a video editing profile with custom RGB colors just for editing. And keep in mind, you can also program macros to your mouse. So if you're finding you are constantly hitting command shift something, you can go ahead and program that to one of the buttons in your mouse. And now with a single press, you can do all kinds of different things. After editing for a day, I got my keyboard and mouse fully dialed in. So I never had to leave the gamer stance while editing. And at this point, I can hear these screams of editing professionals and hardcore enthusiasts out there saying you should never go around and screw up all of the default commands for your editing software and I actually lived by that methodology for years but found that most of us don't really edit on other people's machines so there's no need to memorize just the default commands as you're mainly going to be editing on your own system so it's not necessary and you can easily export these settings in software like Final Cut if you ever needed to load it on another machine. As I age, I am more interested in what works than what is best. And this gaming keyboard command hack has been working so well for me over the past several years. If you have any video editing or keyboard tips, I would love to hear that stuff in the comments below. I'm always learning and there's so much to discover when it comes to improving your editing skills. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.